All right, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jamie. And this is Jamie. This is Sir Jamie. This is the culprit that this, this video is about. Today I'm going to share a story with you and this, this handsome boy right here is going to be the star of this story. So anyway, uh, recently, uh, you know, I, I use the Facebook rather frequently. I'm, I'm an avid Facebook user. I'm on the Facebook. Um, there is a moral misanthrope Facebook page. Look it up. Follow me uh, if you want. So I'm on the Facebook, right? And I, I keep in touch with a lot of uh, my friends and such on there. That That is one of my primary sources of communication is Messenger. That is how I stay connected to the outside world. And I, I've met a lot of interesting people on Facebook. I've made a lot of really wonderful connections and I'm very grateful for that. There was one young woman that I met and friended on the Facebook. We had a lot of mutual friends, a lot of similar interests, and she seemed like a fascinating person. So, uh, as I said, I friended her and we never really ended up, you know, we never talked, you know, sometimes we might like each other's statuses or something, um, and uh, or may have even shared some comments, I don't remember. We ended up crossing paths at a mutual friend's birthday party one evening and she ended up being just as interesting in person as she was on the inter in interweb. So, um, that was that. <laughs> until, until not too long ago, um, several months ago, we started, uh, she reached out to me and wanted me to uh, accompany her to a concert. So I did. And we ended up going to, like, I ended up meeting her at a couple other uh, events. But we, we talk regularly now. We, we hang out. Uh, she's really awesome. Her name is Jen. Uh, a lot of people call her Pixie. Um, she has requested not to be identified uh, in this video, so we're gonna keep her identity hidden. We're gonna keep her anonymous in this video. Um, but so, here, here's where she comes into play with this pretty boy right here. We were talking one day on the Facebook Messenger, and I had to, Jamie was asleep, well, he wasn't asleep, he was in his little cat bed on my desk where he likes to hang out, and I needed to feed the cats. So I got up for a moment and I left the room to go come into the room where all the rest of the cats were and prepare their wet food, their their savory treats. And I come back to my desk afterward to discover in the, the little message window that there's just like hundreds of blue thumbs ups. And I start scrolling, and there's like a whole bunch that's like still sending, a whole bunch that said couldn't send. And I'm like, what the f So I'm like panicking, and I'm trying to message her to be like, hey, I'm so sorry, that was not me, that was my cat. Couldn't send, can't send, can't send. I cannot send any messages. So my friend Ian has also been a victim of this where either Jamie or Coco or Cookie, rest in peace, um, have walked across the keyboard or sat on the laptop or the keyboard or whatever while I have Messenger open and put any variation of random sequence of numbers and letters or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, I, plenty, plenty of people have experienced this, but never to this extent where they sat on one key they just happened to be on the like button and just it just unleashed a barrage of of likes so embarrassing and like i'm so i'm i'm freaking out at this point because i'm thinking in my mind like oh my god this girl probably thinks i'm the biggest on the planet right now that i'm just being the biggest dick sending the thumbs up like 500 times but like, it wasn't me, it was my cat. So I'm 
I'm re I can't use Facebook at this point. I mean, I can use Facebook, but I can't use Messenger at this point. So I've tested to see if I can send messages. I can't send anything to anybody. Like Facebook Messenger is just not happening for me at all. So I'm trying to contact Facebook. It it is the biggest hassle. Like trying to to get inform them of what's going on. You know, I finally I, I think I'm sending a message to the right channel. I'm like, hey, look. I can't use Messenger. Um, you know, it, it's saying that uh, I, I abuse community standards or community guidelines, spamming, whatever, abusive behavior. Um, I'm like, it wasn't me. I was like, my cat sat on the keyboard, sent a whole bunch of thumbs ups in Messenger. Now I can't use Messenger. Please help me. Nothing. I still, this has been over a week and I still have gotten no response from Facebook. I can use Messenger again, but nobody ever reached out to me. It was like two days that I couldn't use Messenger. So frustrating, because like I said, it's one of my primary sources of communication. That was, that was an exciting time, but uh... <clears throat> my, my friend that I spoke of in at the beginning of this video, uh, convinced me to watch the 2021 version of Dune. I'd seen David Lynch's version a few times, like years and years and years ago, of course, because I'm a huge David Lynch fan, as many of you know. But so she, you know, she convinced me to watch it, and I immediately fell in love. Of course, that's my kind of movie. It's like Star Wars meets The Matrix meets Game of Thrones in the future for people who listen to Tool. I know there's the meme that's like, Dune is Star Wars for people who listen to Tool. But there, you know, there, you got the elements of future Game of Thrones, like Game of Thrones set like thousands of years into the future. And a little bit of the Matrix, but not really. Just kinda, there are certain elements that kinda correlated, corresponded, kinda. There were some, there were some Matrix vibes. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, so there was, there was a, it was a great film, and of course, you know, she was like, you gotta see it because I wanna go see you too, and I want you to go, and I'm like, I, I wanna go. Okay, but yeah, let's do it. So, I watched one, I watched it like three times now, and um, uh, you know, we went and saw part two in IMAX, gonna go see it again, because it is absolutely amazing. The way they ended it and set it up for part three is, is gonna be, massive and I know part three I think they're basically they strayed away uh, part two strays away from the books in a couple of aspects but part three I think is gonna bring uh, a lot of aspects it's basically gonna be the the book the the dude the Messiah is gonna be part three um, and I'm excited because I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff that will be canon um, but the way that what they're doing, I, I don't want to give uh, no spoilers. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop. Um, it's it, whether you've read the books or not, whether you've seen the original um, Dune or not. Uh, go watch the 2021 version. It's on Max, and then go to the theater and watch Part Two. You will not be disappointed. It is redefining sci-fi, definitely. But anyway, so that's all. That's all I got. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe if, if you want to. It's free, and it just helps me uh, stay motivated to make more content uh, for you. Because I, I, I don't do this to hear myself talk. Because I could just talk to myself. I do talk to myself. Um, but yeah. Also, you know, leave a like. Uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you your cats do the same kind of bullshit that my cats do. And, um, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I, I gotta go. Good people love the interweb. <laughs> We've gone out to uh, a few different events together. Uh, she hit me up uh, another night and asked me if I wanted to go out to, um, you know, this local monthly goth event that happens that uh, I really enjoy. And, you know, of course I wanted to go and I went. Uh, so then, you know, I turned around and ended up inviting her to go with me. Um, 
to the same event, you know, a month or so later. And the point to this is when all of this was transpiring, when all the, the bullshit was going down with the messenger and I couldn't send any messages, I was taking I was I was taking video with my phone trying to show her like scrolling and explaining that I couldn't send messages. Still going. Like I wasn't even like remotely kidding. I wasn't exaggerating like even a little bit. Like it's literally like thousands. Like I, I left the room for a minute to feed all the cats. And uh, Jamie wasn't in there with the rest of them. And then he came like prancing in there a minute later. And I walked back in here. And this is what I see. Like still going. Look at this shit. Still going. <laughs> I I can't. Like I uh, these <laughs> cats. I'm telling. Look at this. So when we went to the event, um, at one point in time, I was like, I remembered because it was like the day after, or no, it was the same day. It was earlier that day. So, you know, I pull her outside and I'm like, I got, I, got, I got to show you this. So I'm showing her on my phone. I'm like, look at this bullshit. And I show her the video. I'm like, I was trying to, trying to let you know, like, oh my God. So, you know, and luckily we, we, <laughs> we have each other's phone numbers. Um, we had actually, you know, we had primarily communicated through Facebook or only communicated through Facebook up until like, uh, a week prior to this event when that weird thing where Facebook was down nation or worldwide for like a couple hours like an hour or two that one day and everybody's like freaking out like what the hell happened and it was supposed to be like an AT&T issue but um, I, I, I don't know a anyway I had I had messaged her when Facebook was like back up and was like you know we, we should have each other's numbers so luckily, we were able to still communicate through the day, uh, you know, to prepare for the event because we had phone numbers like normal adult people. But yeah, so there was, there was that. Uh, the the whole thing was quite comical and in retrospect. I mean, I, of course, I was freaking out at the time, but you know, it it definitely makes for an interesting video. It makes for a very humorous story, very entertaining anecdote, if you will. Uh, yeah. <laughs>